everybody, welcome back. My name's Cameron, also known as the Desert Beersman in the beer community. Today, we're going over a company that you may have heard of, maybe you haven't, but that's what we're here, to give a little bit of exposure to all these companies doing some really solid holiday scents. And we're looking at Royal Beardsman. Let's see what he has. Products, price, and ingredients. Three big factors when we are buying our products for our beards. So the products that I have here that I'm going to go over with you is a beard balm, beard butter, and beard oil. But on their website for Royal Beardsmen, they offer beard washes, co-washes, combs, travel bags, hats, shirts. They offer a whole gamut of uh, beard care essentials and swag and all the kind of stuff. And they have a really cool logo in my opinion, so go check that out. I uh, will uh, link their, their website down below so you can just quickly get to it. But what we have today, like I said, is the bomb butter and, and uh, bomb butter and oil. <laughs> and so um, we're gonna go over those. For a one, I'm sorry, it's a two ounce bottle of beard oil. It's going to be $18.95. So that's a really solid price considering most one ounce bottles of beard oils are $15. This is two ounces for $19. So you break that down to uh, $9.50 for per ounce. That's a really solid deal. Uh, for a two ounce container of beard balm, it's $15.95. And for a four ounce container of beard butter, it's $22.95. So again, they're giving you a lot for a lot less than what the market average is. So really great pricing points on this company. I really appreciate that because they put out some amazing products that you want to have as much of it as possible. But let's go over the ingredients and all the different products. So in the Beard Balm, have you take a look at that right here. Whoop. So there's their logo, Beard Balm, Dragon Spice is the scent. In their Beard Balm, the ingredients are shea butter, white beeswax, virgin argan oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, hemp seed oil, avocado oil, pumpkin seed oil, grape seed oil, and premium essential oils. Uh, that's in their beard balm. Here is a look at their oil. So again, it has the two ounce size there. Got a lot of uh, small stuff on the side. Uh, they do a scent profile on the side, which I think is really awesome because you know sometimes you forget what a particular scent is supposed to smell like, and this is really great. But the ingredients in the oil are virgin argan oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, avocado oil, grape seed oil, pumpkin seed oil, hemp seed oil, and premium essential oils as well. And then in their four ounce containers of butter, four ounces dragon spice. The ingredients in this one are shea butter, virgin argan oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, hemp seed oil, avocado oil, pumpkin seed oil, grape seed oil, and then premium essential oils as well. So on uh, the dragon spice scent, what it's supposed to be is a woodsy blend with some fiery cinnamon and a hint of vanilla. Um, but on that note, I don't want to dive too much into it because that's going to be our next se section of scent and fill and beard. So let's go check it out. Scent and fill and beard. So this is the original scent that got me thinking about Christmas scents. When I smell this, whether it's in bottle, in beard, um, I don't get very much woodsy, which is fine with me because I get the cinnamon and the vanilla, and this to me just smells like those bag of cinnamon pine cones that you get at the store around the Christmas time, holiday time, and it just has that great aroma, great fragrance. It's one of my favorite scents, and this is a very strong scent. Um, the balm was the first thing I actually ordered. I watched Dan C's video on the, his review video on this company and that was the first scent. I saw the description of it and I, I actually picked up the balm out of anything um, because I wanted to be, you know, different and be like, oh, I can be a balm guy. Not a lot of people are balm guys. Well, bigger beards, I get it. You know, we're not all balm people. <laughs> you know, uh, Matt from No BS Beard Reviews, he's a balm guy. He keeps that business beard and it looks sharp on him. But for me, balms aren't my thing, but I do appreciate what it has here. So let's take a look at it really quick. So, 
as you can see, I have used this a fair amount of times. And it's a, I'd say a medium balm. Um, it's not very stiff um, in the container here. And it's not soft either. It's not a conditioning balm. I wouldn't say that at all either. But it did have a really solid hold on it. It does a really good job of maintaining those flyaways without making everything super stiff. And that's what I really appreciate, especially as, you know, I have a bigger beard and it's only going to get bigger. And there's a lot of people with a lot of bigger beard, a lot of bigger beards. Um, I don't want anything that's going to be stiff and rigid, but I do want something that's going to tame flyaways when I do wear balms. And this does that. Plus it has that great aroma scent that I really enjoy. Next, we'll take a look at the beard oil. The beard oil, like I said, it's that two ounce beard oil. So let's take a look at that really quick. So it's that light tinge of yellow on it and it has a really amazing feel in beard it leaves my beard feeling really healthy and really soft and nourished it, it provides the good nourishment to my skin underneath my beard i don't want to get into that beard drift dandruff whatever you want to call it it does a really good job of that plus the scent again i love it the scent was a lasting scent this scent lasted me 10 hours it was through work after work um, and this is a really strong scent um, that a lot of people around me as I walk by, they would pick up on it just being in the room. I was the fragrance in the room uh, with this scent. It didn't bother me that much because I know it's a great scent. A lot of people compliment, complimented me on it, which is really awesome because it's a scent that you know I really, really enjoy as well. And let's take a look at the beard butter here really quick. So I did use it just the one time because I had a lot of products to go through right there on the edge. But I'll take a look right here. And I mean, super smooth, really creamy. Uh, it's, it's really soft on the top. And then put it in the hand here. It like almost turns into like, uh, I don't wanna say it turns into a frosting because that's not the quite texture, it's not that dense, but it's a really, uh, really light. It is a whipped butter and I mean it just dissolves super quick plus it provides that that scent across the board all these scents do an amazing job of providing the exact same scent from balm to oil to butter you don't get a lot of the carriers in there you do get the vanilla and cinnamon to me that's what I get out of it in each individual one I don't get the carrier oils or the butters or anything like that. I just get the solid scent among all three products. Again, the fill in beard, the butter has a great nourishing aspect to it. I wake up, beard is soft, beard is conditioned, feels really good. Oil throughout the day, I know my beard is healthy. I can touch it, I can feel it, it feels really good. And the balm does a really good job of holding everything down, not making my beard super stiff like a gel would. So I did enjoy it for that aspect. But on that note, Let's hit that recommendation. Rebuyability. So would I recommend and rebuy this for myself? Yes. World Beersman, um, established in 2018, as it says on all their labels, are doing a really great job down there. Um, they are doing it right. They provided a really great sample pack. That's the first thing that I bought from them with the balm is the sample pack. It's really cool because they provide all of their scents. It's $22.95, I believe, $23 for all of their scents. It's a little half ounce bottle. I was able to use everything. And there were a lot of scents in there that, you know, I didn't think I'd like and I ended up liking. But we'll get, that, get, get to that in another, uh, another review video. But for these particular scents, I do recommend them for a holiday scent. Like I said, it does smell like those cinnamon pine cones that you get at the store. It provides a really strong scent. So if you don't really like strong scents or really strong cinnamon scents, this may not be up your aisle, but if you like cinnamon scents and you like that cinnamon pine cone scent, this is gonna be for you. I highly recommend this. This is a really great product. But if you like this video, please consider hitting that thumbs up button for the algorithm purposes so we can share this out to a lot of people. If you uh, like the content I'm putting out, please hit that subscribe button as I wanna be able to show off and uh, you know, get a lot of exposure to a lot of these companies so we everyone can see what they are putting out there and hit that notification bell as I'm putting out a lot of different videos and I wanna be able to have you catch them all for, like I said, I'm doing a lot of big companies, a lot of small companies and everything in between. I want you to be able to see what they have for this holiday season coming up. But as always, be happy, be healthy, stay bearded with a little bit of mustache. Bye. <laughs>